Hello students, welcome to the session. This is Suresh, faculty of chemistry from Infinity Learn. Today we are going to discuss about nucleophilic substitution reactions from the haloalkanes and haloarenes chapter grade 12 and it is most important topic from the NEET examination and definitely you can expect a question from this particular topic in the NEET examination. So let's talk about what is a nucleophilic substitution reaction. Let us talk about a alkyl halide having a halogen here let us say it is a chlorine and when a nucleophile what is a nucleophile a nucleophile is a species which attack at a positively charged carbon and this is a chlorine partially negative charge and this is a carbon partially positive charge so the nucleophile is going to attack at this positively charged carbon and this is your leaving group as this group is left and this is going to be a nucleophile is being substituted in the place of a halogen a strong nucleophile is going to substitute a weak nucleophile and this is the overall picture about the nucleophilic substitution reaction depending upon how the nucleophile is attacking and depending upon the kinetics of the reaction the nucleophilic substitution reactions are broadly classified into two categories on sp2 carbon atom so nucleophilic substitution reaction nucleophilic substitution reaction on sp3 carbon is broadly classified into two categories one is sn2 reaction another one is yes and one reaction substitution nucleophilic if that kinetics follows is a bimolecular that is sn2 reaction substitution nucleophilic if the kinetics follows the unimolecularity order is one that is called as yes and one reaction let us quickly discuss about broad picture about sn1 and sn2 and we'll discuss about uh, the factors that influence sn1 and sn2 and a few questions based on that and this is about substitution nucleophilic reaction by molecular it is said to be sn2 in this phenomena you can see a carbon this is a chlorine it could be any halide and when the nucleophile is attacking so the nucleophile try to attack from the back side of the carbon because this is the leaving group should go out so nucleophile cannot attack from the front side of this so let us say this nucleophile is try to make a bond as a result of this carbon so the nucleophile a new bond is trying to form and there would be a transition state between this nucleophile and the leaving group and this is your leaving group and uh, there is a weak bond this bond is trying to make it and this bond is make, trying to break it so this is actually not isolable this is a transition state you can say as this bond is completely left and simultaneously the bond is going to completely make it as a result of this you can see the nucleophile is being completely substituted with uh, the leaving group and this reaction is what you call it as substitution bimolecular reaction why it is bimolecular reaction first of all i just want to say there are two steps that are seen in this mechanism and this is the transition state is not isolable and you cannot isolate this and the formation of this is not this is actually is an imaginary so that from here to here the product formed is in the single step but not two steps that's very very important and let us talk about this nucleophile and this is your alkyl halide it follows the second order kinetics let us say so the rate of the reaction is equal to k alkyl halide and the nucleophile so you can say the order of the reaction is going to be 1 plus 1 is going to be 2 it is a bimolecular step bimolecular step that bimolecular step you can see the reactant the nucleophile and it is going to take a transition state that i have shown to you and the transition state gives the nucleophile is substituted the halogen and this is a bimolecular nucleophilic substitution energy graph 
and this is a single step and the kinetic study indicates there is a single peak is observed and this particular reaction you can see if this is the plus isomer and it is going to be a minus isomer this is what you can say complete stereochemical complete stereochemical inversion is seen that is what you call it as walden inversion and polar aprotic solvent favors this s and 2 reaction and the reactivity of this SN2 reaction is primarily decided by the nature of alkyl halide. So, the reactivity in general, reactivity in general, primary alkyl halide is more reactive than secondary alkyl halide is more reactive than tertiary alkyl halide. And if you learn these points, you can crack a few questions from the NEET examination related to NCRT textbook. And also we can see substitution nucleophilic unimolecular. In this reaction, you can say the same type. A halogen is there. But here the nucleophile do not involve directly. Rather, if you use a solvent, a polar solvent, polar protic solvent, this solvent let us say a water or any polar protic solvent the solvent is going to break this bond so solvent is initiating this reaction mind it as this bond is broken you are going to see the loss of the halogen and this halogen is leaving group so that you are going to see sp3 carbon become sp2 carbon and you are going to see a carbon and a carbocation. This carbocation has vacant p orbital perpendicular to the plane of the triangle. This is your plane of the triangle. Now, in the plane of the triangle, the nucleophile is going to attack from this side or that side. So, the carbocation is formed. The nucleophile can enter in the front side or the nucleophile can enter from the back side. So, there are two possibilities. So, when it attack on the front side, the product that is formed is going to be like this. If you attack from the back side, the product that is going to attack like this. So, you are going to see the carbocation is the intermediate and it is a two-step reaction. From here to here is a step. From here to here is a step and the formation of a carbocation is the rate determining step. In this scenario, if this is the plus isomer, you are going to get retention of this as well as inversion of this. As a result of this, you can see racemic mixture. As this is a racemic mixture, the racemization takes place in SN1 reaction inversion takes place in SN2 reaction. When you talk about this rate of the reaction is equal to K alkyl halide and it is independent on the nucleophile concentration. Therefore, the order of the reaction is going to be one. It is a unimolecular reaction. And also you can see carbocation is formed as an intermediate. Therefore, if there is a chance for rearrangement and also and a polar protic solvent favors yes in one reaction and the most primary deciding factor is the nature of the alkyl halide the reactivity of the nature of alkyl halide Tertiary alkyl halides are more reactive than secondary alkyl halide is more reactive than primary alkyl halide. And in this, it is a two-step reaction. And this alkyl halide, when the leaving group is lost, a carbocation is formed so that this carbocation is the forming as an intermediate. That intermediate gives the product so that it is a racemized product that is SN1 reaction. And 
these are the things and also stereochemistry racemization takes place. So, these are the hot note worthy points as far as SN1 and SN2. I just going to take the SN1 and SN2 as a comparative picture whatsoever you can see here SN1 and SN2. If you know about this, you are going to answer any type of question based on NCRT related neat examination questions my dear students. You focus here the SN1 and SN2 rate law for this substitution unimolecular this is for SN1 and this is for bimolecular SN2. The big barrier is the carbocation stability. SN1 reaction is directly proportional to the stability of carbocation whereas the big barrier for this SN2 reaction is the steric hindrance. More the steric hindrance less is the reactivity in SN2 reactions. Any substrate that is given with respect to of the degree of carbon you just see how easy the nucleophile go and attack the carboc carbon of the positive charge you have to check the feasibility and alkyl halide the for SN1 tertiary alkyl halide is more reactive than secondary alkyl halide and primary alkyl halide is less likely to react in SN1 and tertiary more likely to react in SN1. Whereas in the SN2 primary alkyl halide has less hindered and it is going to be the most likely to react in SN2 while the secondary is greater than tertiary because of the more steric hindrance in tertiary alkyl halide is going to be the less reactive. Talking about the nucleophile for SN2 the leaving group is not last. So, the nucleophile should be such a strong enough to go interior of the molecule can attack at the carbon of positive charge. So, that we need a strong nucleophile whereas SN1 already carbocation is already formed on the bare carbocation nucleophile is going to attack therefore SN1 is most likely to be favored by in the presence of weak nucleophile also. I just want to say solvent polar protic solvents like water and alcohols are used and the polar protic solvents are required for SN2 that is DMSO dimethyl sulfoxide and acetone and DMF dimethyl formamide. Of course, I just want to tell you a note here my dear students. SN1 actually initiated by the solvent polar protic solvent therefore SN1 reactions are also called as solvolysis reaction. If the solvent is water it is called as hydrolysis reaction. Mind it in the examination directed terminologies are given which of the following is more reactive towards the solvolysis. Solvolysis means reaction with the solvent that is nothing but your SN1 reaction. Of course, stereochemistry here SN1 you are going to see both inversion and retention you can see the racemization can be seen and for this SN2 reaction you can see only inversion that is called as Walden inversion. Of course, one important thing for both SN1 and SN2 the order of reactivity alkyl halides alkyl iodide is more reactive than alkyl bromide is more reactive than alkyl chloride is more reactive than and alkyl fluoride that is very 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 important point and based on that you can see we, a couple of questions we will discuss here in SN2 substitution the reaction of type RBR react with the Cl- is a nucleophile in the presence of dimethyl formamide it gives this product. One of the following that has the highest relative rate of the reaction. So, I want to say S and 2 reaction inversely proportional to steric. More the steric hindrance, less is the reactivity. Less is the steric hindrance, more is the reactivity. Here, this is a primary alkyl halide, and this is your secondary alkyl halide, and this is your tertiary alkyl halide. And of course, it is a primary alkyl halide. I just want to say a uh, highest rate of reactivity, it cannot be the answer, it cannot be the answer and you will be having a competition between 1 and 4. In that less number of carbon atoms are there, more number of carbon atoms are there. So, that less number of carbon atoms 
will have the less steric hindrance therefore i would go with is option 4 the option 4 is the correct answer for this option 4 is the correct answer for this question and also we can see one more question related to this which of the most react towards sn1 reaction dear children the reaction reactivity for the sn1 is directly proportional to stability of carbocation more stable is the carbocation more is the reactivity towards sn1 when you talk about this what is this particular alkyl halide can give you as a carbocation it is going to be c6h5 means it's a benzene and it is a ch and a c6h5 means it's a benzene and it is a carbocation and let us talk about this it is going to give the carbocation and it is ch3 and when you talk about this it is going to be a c and it is going to be c6h5 and it is going to be ch3 so you have to independently make its own carbocation like this and among all these carbocation that is formed you can say benzyl carbocation you can say a benzyl carbocation with two resonance here hyper conjugation here benzyl carbocation resonance and hyper conjugation resonance and resonance one resonance but here two resonance and one hyper conjugation so this is going to be more stable as this is going to be more stable this is going to be the most reactive towards yes and one reaction this is how you analyze this so your answer for this question is option 3 for this particular question and also you can see one more which of the following statements regarding sn2 mechanism is wrong so sn2 reactions are bimolecular of course it is correct sn2 reactions are usually second order yes of course and sn2 mechanism occur in one step s yes, of course sn2 reaction usually occur in two steps which is wrong why because in the reaction coordination so the potential energy and the reaction you are going to see a single peak so the reaction takes place in a single step so therefore option d is a wrong statement as far as sn2 reaction is concerned as you are asking about pick the wrong statement my option is going to be d option for this question and at the end we can see which of the following is most react towards sn1 mechanism as we discussed the reactivity of the sn1 reaction is directly proportional to the stability of carbocation so if you check this is eliminated and a carbocation here a carbocation here a carbocation here a carbocation here the stability of carbocation is directly proportional to plus mesomeric effect plus hyper conjugation and plus inductive effect as this is having positive mesomeric effect it is the most stable carbocation therefore option b is going to be the correct answer for this kind of reactions you don't have to worry about by looking at these structures and how to handle this if you apply such a good tricks in the neat examination cracking neat examination based on ncert is going to be super awesome today we discussed about what is a nucleophilic substitution reaction and sn1 and sn2 and comparison between sn1 and sn2 and based on that a couple of questions are seen and wait for more session like this you please like and subscribe to this channel thank you very much signing off suresh from infinity land thank you